Hey, it's Dave Wyman. Time for Football 101. Thought we'd go on the offensive side of the ball just because of the hiring of Shane Waldron, the new offensive coordinator. And uh, just looked at a couple of plays. Been kind of going through the season, rehashing things, looking at uh, things that gave the Seahawks defense trouble and some of the things that uh, the offense did that was really good. But I just wanted to draw up a couple of, and this will be much clearer when we get to the film and look at, uh, at what... Uh, these plays are all about and in this uh, I wrote down this this is a 10-yard gain and we'll, we'll reveal who, who it is at the end when we get the film but um, this is a, a pass play and it ends up being a 10-yard gain and I wrote down the illusion of complexity because you can see there's lots of lines drawn here and here's what they mean this is the the original formation without the lines is like this this receiver goes in motion and then stops right here where the X is then uh, the quarterback who's under center with the back right behind him, just like the next play we're gonna look at, um, he signals him to start going in motion like a fly sweep motion. And they don't run the fly sweep, but what it does, is, and we'll see this on, on uh, the defensive side, it really holds the defense. It, it forces them to check the backside when you see that fly sweep motion like that. This line here is, this receiver on the snap of the ball just goes all the way over and ends up almost at the line of scrimmage. And because they've held the defense, he's able to get leverage here. So what they do is a, a play fake and to further make it worse for the defense, not only is there fly sweep motion coming back this way, but also there is a fake handoff right here. And then the quarterback rolls out to, to the side. So, you know, not only does the fly sweep motion hold it, but also, you know, you've got a, a hard run fake this way. So it's tough on the defense. And now what you do is you get a speedy receiver right to the edge. So, and this outside tight end, he blocks, but then he checks down because he's like a little safety valve in case things go wrong. The tight end runs a corner route here that really, that holds the, the corner. He has to he has to honor that, and we'll see it on film. But, but you know, as far as the, this receiver going in motion here, he gets to the edge, and he's going full speed by the time he gets to this edge. And the uh, the edge player, the dropper here, we'll see on defense. Um, it, it ends up being. Uh, he, he just wins the foot race, and so this is a simple throw. This is my point. It's like a ten yard th throw. Quarterback's about 10 yards deep, just a nice easy throw, catch, and just beats him to the sideline, the defender. So just a, a really well-designed play. Another one I looked at was, this is a goal line play, and I wrote down flooding the zone. And what that means is when you attack a certain area of the field with multiple levels. So what they had here was, again, quarterback under center uh, running back with a fake now the other one we they faked away but on this faked to the side to be able to get him open but what they've got is everybody coming back over this way the, the, the receiver runs same thing that on the other side that we just looked at holding the corner so he runs a little route back there and then you've got another check down from the tight end just like the other play and then you got guys coming from the back side so the quarterback fakes and rolls out here and now all of a sudden you got five targets right there on that side of the field and that's what I mean by uh, flooding the zone but it ends up just being a nice easy throw right here to the running back that he faked to and it goes for a, a three-yard touchdown and I don't think on either of these plays maybe got pushed out of bounds quarterback doesn't get hit and the running back or whoever is the receiver doesn't take a big hit because they're out in space, they're open, they're successful plays. You got a touchdown in one and a 10 yard gain in the other. Let's take a look at it on film. All right, let's take a uh, look at the first play. It's the Los Angeles Rams. So of course I chose this on purpose, but this is the, the illusion of complexity play. Again, you've got um, this receiver right here, started out here, he motioned him over and and then, you know, this is the eventual receiver right here, running back. You know, this is the, the tight end runs this route here to hold him. Here's the check down guy. But it starts here. But then, you know, he, at one point, Jared Goff lifts his heel, like to bring him in motion. And then he has the fly sweep, which ends up holding these guys, especially on the backside, um, in, in their spot. So that fly sweep motion is probably something you're going to see out of uh, Shane Waldron and his new offense.
And here you see is the play, play fake right here. Again, quarterback under center, which is what, what I've always liked uh, about play action passes, that it's so much better when you have the quarterback under center. But here's the receiver that has sprinted over from here already to here. And if you see the guy really that, you know, um, you look at Jamal Adams, he kind of has to hold and carry this tight end who's running the corner route. And right now you've got a really speedy guy in Josh Reynolds right there who is just going to, you know, get, and this is going to be like a 10 yard pass. Like I said, Goff's rolling out, line of scrimmage is right here. And it's just going to be a nice, easy pass and let him use his speed out on the edge. And here we see the catch being made. And this was a good throw by Goff because he, you know, you want to hit him in stride because this is a really fast guy. But here's the, the tight end ran this corner route right here, which held the, the defensive back there. And then for Jamal Adams, I mean, he's in a foot race with Josh Reynolds and he's really fast and everything. But Reynolds is able to, if he, he's a step ahead of him, you can see instead of, you know, being up here, Adams is back here. So he's got some, some distance to make up there. And then here's there just running him out of bounds right there. I, I didn't think he took a hit there. It wasn't anything too serious, but he was able to get the, the ball across the, the line of scrimmage. So, you know, I, I just, I think this is something that you might see from the Seahawks with, you know, with Shane Waldron, the new offensive coordinator. You get motion, then you get fly sweep motion, then you get a guy coming from the other side. Um, you get a, a hard run play fake that just ends up holding the defense. It's just a really well designed, and we've talked about this, an easy play for Russell Wilson where he doesn't have to make some ridiculous scramble or, you know, have to, uh, you know, have to make magic on every single play. Guy's wide open, use his speed, and I just think of a guy like Tyler Lockett. You get him the ball on the, the line of scrimmage, and he's got all that green grass in front of him. He's going to make something happen just like Josh Reynolds did. All right, here's the three-yard touchdown pass. Believe it or not, week one, the Seahawks. And, you know, it was a, a little bit different design because, again, quarterback under center, which I like, running back behind. I think it's, it makes for better play action, and it, it fools the defense a little bit more. But, um, yeah, Russ fakes this way, actually. Um, here's the check down block right here, and then he sort of releases. Then you're going to get guys coming from the, the backside. Um, you know, I think uh, Metcalf actually runs in and, and does that route. Uh, Lockett holds the corner with another corner route, kind of like the tight end did with the Rams. And then you get Chris Carson out into the flat. And here he is. And look, you look at Russell. He, you know, he actually has a chance to either throw it here. He's got a guy back here. He's got a, a check down guy here. And then here's Carson. And you can see where the linebacker is right there. He's, I don't want to say flat footed, but there's no way he's going to you'd be able to cover Carson because of the fake. So he just gets out into the flat there. Russ, again, just like in the other one, a really nice and easy throw. Russ gets it to him right there. And Carson, I know he likes hitting people, <laughs> but uh, he didn't get, get too much of a shot on this one, able to cross the goal line. But again, pretty similar type of things. And I think it's kind of strange that you saw plays like this in the beginning of the year when they were having so much success and then didn't see that so much in the second half. So I feel like this is a, a play that kind of mirrored some of the things that Shane Waldron does. And so I'm all for number one, play action pass. Number two, get Russ out on the edge. He's great throwing on the run and make it an easy throw. Make it easy. So, you know, like I said, the, the zones are flooded with guys everywhere. There's lots of options for him. And that way it's just a nice, easy throw for him. He doesn't have to have all the heroics that we saw from Russell Wilson last year, although we love that, but you don't want to have to do that. And I've talked to a lot of guys on the offensive side of the ball that have said, hey, if you can just take some of the difficult throws away from Russ that he has to make, maybe 15, 16 times a game where it's just an easy throw like this, just right to the flat, you can have a lot of success.